Good morning, everyone. This is Mrs. Peterson, and I am here in Photopia. I wanted to show you how to make your photograph look like a um, oil painting. This was last week's assignment, and I never got to teach you in Photopia. So this is really a quick thing in Photopia. So I have already opened a picture of Serafina here, and um, a couple things, because it is so huge, if you notice it's 40 inches across, you're not going to see as much detail of the, of, um, the painting on her. If I would start with something that was 5 by 7, you'd see the painting a lot more. But we'll go ahead and do this. First, I'm going to duplicate my background, Command-J or Control-J on your computer at home. And then... Uh, on this layer, I'm going to go up to Filter, and we're going to go to Stylize Oil Paint. And when the oil paint comes up, you what you're going to do is just kind of play with these. What I've found is it doesn't do a very good job of letting you see it change. As if you were in Photoshop, you can kind of see it at the time. If you like lighting, so from for me the lighting is a little bit from this side so I'm going to go ahead and change this to over here nope I want it over here there we go and that means when the light hits the oil it will be shinier on this side than the other side right because see the sun right there <clears throat> and all this the lighting's over it's kind of behind her but it's still from the left then you're just going to kind of play with these. And what I found in Photopia is that I have to actually just pick a few things and just go with it. So I'm clicking and I'm waiting for it to catch up to me. And then I press OK. This doesn't mean I'm done. It means I'm going to look at it. So. Now you can't see much here, remember because I told you it was a big photograph, but now you can see the work. <clears throat> now I will tell you this, when I first worked with her, her teeth turned to be kind of a skin tone. So uh, before I got started, I went in and I used the dodge tool and lightened her teeth just a little bit. So when her teeth were lightened, then they remained white when I did this with the oil painting. <clears throat> and I also whitened this part of her eyes, kind of for the same reason, but that's the only video uh, photo editing I did to this particular picture of her. Now, um, I could go back into oil paint and change things up again as well if I needed to. So I could go filter, stylize, oil paint, and say, well, I don't know, I, I'm going to try it a couple different ways till I, till I decide what I want. So maybe I want more bristle detail and my radius bigger Let's see if I can slide it and I want more cleanliness so I'm gonna push that all the way up see it's just a little slow online it's thinking I'm working with something else so let's put Okay, that's going to look really different. So I'm going to push OK. And I can already tell it's going to look different here. I'm not sure why it keeps changing things. I think it's still catching up with all the clicks I did. Okay. Because I haven't clicked anything. It's still catching up with the clicks. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in. And I really can't even see the water, the, the painting on it now. So I don't like that. But I'm going to go ahead and go. Oh, here we go. There we go. Now we can see it. Uh, I had gone back in my history. So now I can see the, the painting strokes across her face. And I like that better. After you kind of get it the way that you want, that's when you're going to do what they call an unsharp mask. So you go to filter, uh, nope, you go to, oh, filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. 
And for right now, I'm just going to leave it how it is, and I'm going to look at it. And notice already it has made the lines show up a little bit better on her. And so the what they suggest, depending on what it is, you know, what um, look you're looking for is to rotate. So image, transform, rotate 90 degrees, and then go ahead and do that unsharp, unsharp mask again. And what it's doing is it's just adding a little bit more to the tones of the stroke. They suggest to do it four times, but when I tried that with Serafina, it was too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave two, and then image, transform, I'm going to rotate back so we can see her. Well, I might do one more, but now you can see the strokes of the paintbrush on her, and that's how you do a um, painting, so you would file. Um, you don't want to save it as a Photoshop if you want to play with it some more and then export as a P -E PNG or um, a PDF. No, sorry, or a JPEG. But make sure before you turn it in, so I'm going to I'm gonna make it a JPEG. And I'm going to save it. It's still super big. And I'm saving it. And when I open it, I want to make sure that I save it as the right thing for turning in. And so for turning in, I would put my first and last name dot oil painting and save it as a, here I'll go ahead and do that. So now it's saved as what I need to turn it in as. And then you can upload, do not load, do not upload a Photoshop document, but do upload a JPEG or a PNG to me. All right. Hope that helps and enjoy. Love you, Mr. Already. Go out and change your world for the better.